Let's show that for an isobaric process, the work done on an ideal gas by its environment during a state change from an initial volume to a final volume is given by the negative of the product of the gas's pressure and its change in volume. Let's start by illustrating the gas in its initial and final states. For state A, N moles of the ideal gas starts in initial state A, having an initial pressure P, A, an initial volume V, A, and an initial temperature T, A. Through a thermodynamic process in which work is done on the gas by its environment, the gas will expand at constant pressure to a final thermodynamic state, B. At state B, the gas has N moles, is at pressure PB, volume VB, and temperature TB. These state variables describe state B of N moles of the ideal gas. Work is done through a constant pressure or isobaric process to evolve the gas from state A to state B. A PV diagram is a useful tool that helps illuminate both qualitative and quantitative aspects of various thermodynamic processes. Since this is an isobaric process, the gas pressure in state A is equal to its pressure in state B. In state A, the gas has volume VA. The gas then expands isobarically to volume B in state B. Negative the work done on the gas by the environment is equal to the signed area between the isobaric line and the volume axis. It can be shown that the work done on a gas by its environment may be found by integrating pressure with respect to volume between the two states. This definite integral is represented geometrically as negative of the signed area between the isobaric line and the volume axis. So we can write this as the work done from A to B is equal to negative the signed area. We see from the diagram that the work done from A to B is the area of the rectangle given by its height. In this case, the height of the rectangle is the pressure in state A times the width. The width of our rectangle is the volume change from A to B. This yields our result that the work done isobarically on an ideal gas by its environment is equal to the negative of the product of the gas pressure and its change in volume.